the concept of growth partners. What can I give in return, right? Are we impacting the right people? Am I connecting them to the right audience? Am I connecting my partners to the right relationships? They love to see people that are investing in their multimedia approach, video on audio, on text and so on. Can we have a multi-channel approach? For example, you have your YouTube show, but then you can grab some of those clips and then your growth partner can publish those on their social media. So build a little website for it. Make sure that there's some blog that you can put some content in there that supports the main episodes. Invest in yourself or your company as a brand. People want that connection, that real connection with you, with your CEOs, with your CMOs with that personality that is right behind the microphone. At the end of the day, it's like, how can we create in a sustainable way so we can sustain the quality of the message? Hey guys, welcome back to Content is Profit. Today, uh, I had an incredible call with our team from Hotspot. You know, every couple of months or so, we join in on a creator's like, townhome basically and uh, all the creators share like some of the, the some very smart questions uh some incredible tips and uh, we just learn together and we continue to improve on this art of podcasting and content creation right um also quick update the house podcast network has updated to the multimedia network so uh they started investing in youtube channels so if you're interested go ahead to their website uh, you can just google uh, media network from Hotspot or Hotspot Podcast Network, and you'll find the links right there. But it has been super exciting to learn from a bunch of people. And uh, I had a question to basically our community manager, the person that that kind of helps us with the relationships. And uh, we've had a ton of questions inside of the studio from people that want to start their shows, whether that's on YouTube or on podcasting. And they're looking for an initial investment, right? Like the initial question is always like, how can I get a sponsor right away? And if you haven't heard the episode with Justin Moore, go ahead and listen to that episode. It's just a few episodes back. Uh, it's incredible. He's a mastermind at sponsorships, right? And uh, he really made us rethink how we think uh, about those relationships, one. But also, we've talked a lot about, you know, about this topic specifically on events. A lot of people call them sponsors, but we like to call them growth partners, right? Because when you're launching a show, whether it's brand new or a type of content, it could be short form, it could be YouTube, it could be whatever medium you feel comfortable with. Um, at the beginning, it's going to be challenging to get that traction, right? There's many elements that we have to get together, right? The, there's the 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 consistency, the, the quality of the content, the quality of the message, which is super important, right? We have to start finding those people that resonate with that message. Are we polarizing? Are we not polarizing? Is our topic big enough to attract a big audience? Is our topic niche enough to attract a really high quality and engaged audience, right? There's benefits to all of this. And as people start to publish and create their own channels and their own shows, these are things that they have to discover by executing. That's our point of view. That's you know how we've seen most of the shows very successfully um, execute, right? So there is a way that we've been able to, I guess, present to a few people in the studio and we've kind of tested it on different events, which is the concept of growth partners, right? So uh, for those who don't know, that will be like a company or a relationship or, in, uh, or an investor that really likes what you do, your concept, your idea, and they invest in your platform uh, for long term, right? So let's say they invest $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 a month in your thing, and this will be like um, almost like pitching a company, right? And in, in, in return of that, what can we give as a show? Obviously, you know, we are super upfront of like, okay, we are building an audience, this brand new show. And this is for people that are starting out in this specific case, but you can also get growth partners if you are more advanced and there's more assets in the back end that you can do. But what can I give in return, right? Are we impacting the right people? Am I connecting them to the right audience? Am I connecting my, uh, my partners to the right relationships, right? Here's an example. We have a, a show that runs here in the studio that is super religious and he loves to connect people that might not be of faith with churches. And so the churches are the growth partners. They invest in him to put the message out there, to have these conversations and then move people forward, you know, in in their faith, for example, right? We have another political podcast that that's very similar to what they do is they grab these, uh, these organizations that might resonate with their message, right? And uh, they invest in them as, uh, as, as they discuss things of the or topics that is relevant to their audience 
And then there's an exchange of newsletter and different things. So the question I ask our hotspot network manager was like, you as growth partners, what are you looking for um, for shows to kind of come into either your platform or, you know, as as this content ecosystem evolves, how can we, you know, help more people uh, gain more clarity, right? So they gave me actually four steps and here's what we're going to go through today, just a little bit, you know, top of mind. And then maybe we bring funds in with this cost on that. So the first thing that they told me is they will, they, they love to see people that are investing in their multimedia approach, right? They have the audio, they have YouTube, they have clips, right? They, they might write it, They might be writing a blog um, under their show or under their content and then publishing on their website, for example, right? They're pushing their brand out there. They're pushing their message out there in multiple ways. And we're big fans of this, obviously, because, you know, from the podcast, you can create all these assets. You can use software like Capture, for example, which they are amazing. They're awesome partners, right, where you can grab that and, and turn into different uh, different uh, assets of text. And then if you were the creator, you can grab and you can tell your growth partner based on these episodes, we can feed you content, not only for your website, but also on our website but you can publish that that content in your newsletter, in your website, in your blog, right? So you can actually provide that to them. And then you're saving them a ton of money and an investment, maybe on a lot of time in something like that, right? So multimedia approach, figure out a way on how can you create in different ways, right? On video, on audio, on text, and so on. If you have questions on that, please uh, reach out at BizBrosco. We're happy to help you. That's what we do day in and day out, right? Uh, The other thing is, can we have a multi-channel, you know, uh, approach, right? A lot of people try to stay away from this, where it's like, are we posting on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, even though it's like the same type of content, it can be very overwhelming keeping up with, you know, the audience or your, um, or the, the, the comments that come in, right? Or maybe like, how do I engage physically? And a lot of the advice, I guess, is around focus on one platform, one platform only, and then scale. And again, there's not right or wrong. With, we've seen both ways. But if you have a multi-channel approach, and it, cannot, it doesn't have to be all of them, it can be a couple of them, then you might, want, you might have the ability to trigger conversations with most more uh, growth partners. And maybe the multi-channel approach is not just you creating for those channels, but maybe you creating for their channels uh, as a way to collaborate with you. So for example, you have your YouTube show, which is your focus, but then you can grab some of those clips with topics relevant, and then that company or your growth partner can publish those on their social media. So that's another form that you can add value into that, right? Uh, the other thing that you know they told us was um, on your own website, right? At the end of the day with your show, uh, with your type of content, build a little website for it. Make sure that there's some blog um, that you can that you can put some content in there that supports the main episodes, right? They're really looking into something like this because it can be evergreen. It can be long-term, right? And uh, that's a very valuable asset to start building an email list. So uh, element number three, like I said, is building your own website. Uh, one tip that they really shared with us was pair the episode um, with one of those blogs but not a blog that explains the whole episode, kind of dive deep into one of those elements. So for example, if you're talking about the three ways to grow social media, focus on de- go deep into one of those and then tag the episode, the re- button or, or the video uh, in that blog post so they can continue listening to the other two. So that way you can drive traffic across both. And obviously in the episode, you say, hey, we're actually going to dive deep into number one if you'd like to read it, for example. So that was, I think, a very interesting tip that they that they mentioned that is working really well with some of the bigger shows, right? And then the last one that they mentioned was invest in yourself or your company as a brand, right? Uh, today is more important than ever, especially with a lot of AI go- kind of going out. And, uh, and going crazy out there, um, people want that connection, that real connection with you, with your CEOs, with your CMOs, with that personality that is right behind the microphone. And if they can see that is that the real you, um, that's why we're so big fans of, of live content. It's going to be very beneficial, right? Because they can, they would then invest in you, not only the company, but you maybe as as an entrepreneur, or as, as a messenger of the X topic, for example, right? Like what are some workflows that make sense to us as creators 
uh, to be able to accomplish that, right? Um, let me see, I'm just going through my notes here, and like I said, raw and uh, unreal. And then I think like these are probably some of the, my, my last notes that I wrote about the topic. It's like, okay, about the workflows, like how can we sustain like all these four elements, right? In our side, we talk about the six levers, right? Like the what to say, the creation method, the production, right? The, the distribution, monetization, and how to manage all of that. If you want more details into that, send me a DM. I'm happy to, to share it. Um, how can we invest in long-term success of the show, right? Are we looking at this as in, this is a quick solution to my, that, that my business might need today? Uh, it might not be the, the right solution, right? Or is this something that I'm willing to do for the next two, three years in a very sustainable way? And how can we add pieces to the puzzle, whether that's an editor, whether that's like a script, or a script writer, whether that's like a co-host, right? What are those things that we need to put in place so we can make it very um, sustainable, right? And uh, don't go into expensive software right away. There's very simple solutions. I mean, right now, <laughs> we've done 500 episodes. And even though behind that wall and behind that wall, we have a couple of studios. I'm recording this with a lav mic and uh, on my webcam, right? So at the end of the day, it's like, how can we create in a sustainable way, even though uh, so we can sustain the quality of the message, right? So quick recap of the episode. Uh, this was just my thoughts. I thought it was really interesting of what they told me as growth partners, what are some of the things that they're looking for so you can go ahead and, and grab them. Um, so invest in multimedia approach, right? Uh, start distribution on, on a multi-channel if you can, based on your resources, right? But it doesn't have to be all of them, it can be one or two. Uh, have your own website with specific blog posts about a specific thing inside of your episode, not the whole thing. And then invest in, invest in yourself as a brand or your company. Uh, but most importantly, your personal brand. So hopefully this was a quick, quickie episode and it helps you move the needle forward. If you have any questions, please reach out uh, at the BizRose Co or bizrose.co on social media and our website. All right, take care. Bye.